How to Regrow Foreskin Many circumcised men are discovering that they can return their bodies to a more natural, intact state. Working on the principle that skin will grow when gently but continuously stretched, the process can be very effective, although it may take several years to complete. While a restored foreskin may never regain the level of sensitivity of an uncircumcised foreskin, many restored men report great satisfaction with the process in terms of sensitivity, appearance, and emotional completeness. Part 1 Making the Decision 1. Ask yourself why you want to regrow your foreskin. There are many reasons why a man would choose to restore his foreskin. Some men prefer the look of the intact penis and will regrow their foreskin for aesthetic reasons, while others resent not having a choice as with infant circumcision. However the majority of men will regrow their foreskin to seek the great increase in sensitivity reported by restored men. Whatever the reason, a man should ask himself if he is ready to undertake a project that will take years to complete and permanently affect the most private area of his body. 2. Understand how regrowth works Currently, the most effective way to regrow your foreskin is through tissue expansion. This works by pulling the skin of the penile shaft over the glands and applying tension, either manually or using a device, until new skin cells are produced and the tissue on the skin of the penis expands. Once the foreskin has expanded enough to cover the glands, the tissue beneath becomes less calloused and some of the hidden nerve endings are restored, resulting in increased sensitivity. 3. Do your research. There are many options for restoring the foreskin, it's just a matter of deciding which works best for you and fits into your lifestyle. For instance, a man who uses a public shower or locker room may prefer a device that can be donned and removed quickly and inconspicuously. A college student with roommates and not much money may prefer manual tugging. Therefore, it is very important to do your research and carefully consider each of the following factors, among others, before making a decision. Cost. Although some methods cost nothing, manual tugging, others require expensive, $40 to $300, equipment. Level of commitment. How much time you're willing to invest in regrowing your foreskin will affect which method you should use. Type of activity, throughout restoration time, work, exercise, etc. Many restoration devices require a weight to be worn on the penis for hours at a time, which could be impractical if you live an active lifestyle. The amount of extra skin, i.e. skin folds, you currently have, some tugging devices, such as the CAT2, DTR, or TLC. X, require a certain amount of loose skin before they can be used. Therefore if you're cut very tightly, your options may be more limited, at least at first. Whether you have more shaft or mucosal skin, shaft skin is from the circ scar line to the base of the penis and is called outer skin. Mucosal skin goes from the corona of the glands to the scar. Since this skin will fold against the glands and therefore be inside the prepuce, it's referred to as inner skin. Part 2 Using Manual Tugging 1. Understanding Manual Tugging Manual tugging involves using your hands to gently but firmly stretch skin. It is usually done for 15 minutes intervals, 3 or 4 times a day. Manual tugging is the cheapest and easiest method of regrowing your foreskin but it requires a lot of commitment as it can take a long time before any obvious results are achieved. 2. Find some privacy You will also need to ensure that you have plenty of uninterrupted time to yourself during the day when you can perform the manual tugging, as it can be quite conspicuous. Your morning shower is a good time to practice tugging, as the water helps to prevent the skin from becoming irritated. You can also tug while watching TV, alone, or while taking a bathroom break, if you use a stall. 3. Try a basic tugging method 
A good tugging technique for beginners involves making an OK symbol using the index finger and thumb on both hands. Use one hand to encircle the shaft of your penis near the scrotum and the other to encircle the shaft near the glands. Then gently begin pulling the skin in opposite directions. Hold the stretch for 5 to 30 seconds, then release for several seconds before repeating. This tugging method is very effective as it creates tension around the full circumference of the shaft. 4. Start tugging for an hour or two per day. Reports vary on how long you need to tug for per day in order to get the best results. Some men claim it's necessary to tug for a minimum of 4 hours a day, while others report success with tugging for only 1 hour a day. The best thing to do is start out slow, until you get used to tugging process. This will help to prevent the skin on your penis from becoming sore or irritated. Try tugging for 15-minute intervals, 4 to 8 times per day. Over time, you can increase the length of time you tug for and the amount of tension you apply, if you feel it's necessary. Part 3 Using Restoration Devices 1. Consider using a tugging device. There are a number of tugging devices available which work by simultaneously pulling and pushing the skin on the shaft for both inner and outer skin growth. Some of the most popular devices include TLC Tugger. With the TLC Tugger, a silicone plug is placed against the glands, then the shaft skin is pulled up over the plug and held in place with a soft rubber cap. You can then attach one end of an elastic strap to the TLC and the other end around the knee or leg in order to apply pulling tension. Weights can also be used. TLC, X device, short for tapeless conical extensible, this device is effective as it can be extended as you gain skin, making it a more long, lasting piece of equipment. Weights or straps can also be used to increase tension. It's available online for about $80. Cadiac device, cadiac is short for constant applied tension too quick. The benefit of this device is that it can be attached and detached from the penis quickly and easily. It's available online and on eBay for around $80. DTR device, DTR is short for dual tension restorer. It's available online for about $90. My Skin Clamp, made from medical, grade stainless steel, this device functions similarly to the Cadiac and DTR. For balls, these require some foreskin, which is drawn over one of the balls and taped in place. Penile Uncircumcising Device, or PUD, is placed against the glands, the skin is drawn over the PUD and taped in place. Weight of the PUD applies tension. 2. Try using T tape. T tape is medical tape formed into a T shape from a side view, which is wrapped around the penis and drawn forward over the glands. Instructions on how to make T tape from common medical tape and how to apply it are available at several restoration forums. Comfortable and effective, this method suits many restorers and can be worn 24 hours or more, including during sleep. Drawbacks include the time it takes to apply and remove the tape, discomfort when removing, and the lack of spontaneity when amorous. 3. Think about using O-rings. O-rings are simple rubber gaskets available at most hardware stores. The major benefit of O-rings is that they can speed up the decarotinization of the glands, thus increasing sensitivity. With O, rings, shaft skin is drawn over the glands and fed through the ring. The skin then naturally pulls back, which creates tension as the ring is drawn back against the glands. This method requires more loose skin than many beginning restorers have, so it is a good option once you have already developed a certain amount of loose skin. 4. Use Household Items Alternatively, instead of buying expensive devices, you can make your own restoration device using simple household items. 
The most common of these include pill tubes or film canisters, deep sockets, and trombone mouthpieces. Pill tubes and film canister By cutting the bottom from a cylinder 35mm film canister or pill tube, you can draw shaft skin over the plastic and tape it in place. By attaching a wire, it's possible to apply tension with an elastic band around the knee or leg. Stuffing the cylinder with cotton and capping, it can apply inner tension as well. Deep Socket A stainless steel deep socket provides a convenient and effective weight to stretch the foreskin. Taped on with waterproof tape, it weighs 12 ounces and has an opening through which to urinate. Trombone mouthpiece, used in the same manner as four balls and PUD, usually with medical tape to hold skin in place. Monet TT5 trombone mouthpiece are preferred, as they are heavier, but Bach 5G would also work. Part 4 Things to Remember 1. Have Patience The process of regrowing your foreskin, whether manually or using a device, takes some getting used to and requires lots of commitment. Though some men report initial gains, don't expect to see immediate results. Remember, the race goes not to the swift nor the strong, but to he who endures to the end. If you really feel that a particular tugging method isn't working for you, try switching things up. You might find that a different manual tugging technique or a new device is more effective for your body. 2. Don't hurt yourself. Tugging should not be painful or cause injuries of any kind, as long as it's done correctly. Listen to your body and stop if you notice any redness, rawness, or pain. If you are experiencing pain, you are either tugging too much or tugging for too long and you need to be more gentle or cut back. 3. Start a digital photo diary. While it sounds like a strange idea, many men who don't start one end up regretting not having before pictures. Because the process is so long, you want notice gradual changes over months of work. But pulling up an image from last year can really surprise you. Get extreme close-ups, members should fill the frame, from the front and each side. Use the same location and lighting conditions every time. Take one set of pictures a month and remember to date the photos. Store them on a computer only you have access to or password, protect their location. 4. If time is an issue, you can look into surgical options. If tucking methods seem like they will take too long or require too much of a commitment, or you are more concerned with the appearance of your penis, you could consider surgical restoration. Surgical foreskin restoration works by grafting skin from another area of the body, usually the scrotum, which has similar muscle tissue, onto the end of the shaft. Surgical restoration is much faster than regrowing the foreskin, however, it is very costly and many men have reported dissatisfaction with the surgery. Surgical restoration is mainly for men who want to restore their foreskin for aesthetic reasons as unfortunately this option cannot restore sensitivity. Tips Every person and every circumcision is different, from body types to the amount of skin removed. Choose the method that's right for you. This may require experimenting with several different methods and even changing methods as you progress. Foreskin restoration is not covered by insurance so you'll need to pay out of your pocket. The point at which the mucosal and shaft skin meet is referred to as the point of equilibrium. For most men in the United States, the POE is their circ scar. NB, the majority of men worldwide are not circumcised as infants or at any stage in their life. Think about joining a discussion group, either in person or online, to meet other men who have already or intend to restore their foreskin. They will doubtlessly have great feedback for you. Become an inductivist. Join a group to help end routine infant circumcision. Remember you will be regrowing your foreskin, not stretching it, don't overdo it. Warnings
Many myths and negative connotations abound about foreskin, especially in the United States, where having one is still rare. Your partner may need a little convincing that this is the right choice. While the opinion of your partner is important, remember that it's your choice. Don't overdo it. Putting too much pressure on skin will damage it, possibly permanently. The principle here is slow, steady, gently applied tension. Your restored or new foreskin won't be exactly the same as the original. This article should not be used as a substitute for professional medical advice and care. Be sure to visit your doctor regularly for checkups and seek the advice of a qualified medical professional for more information on this or any medical issue.